the Master Cube. Each of its six sides represents a different custom Yu-Gi-Oh format, a cube, if you will, all of which contain over 300 chaotic cards, carefully chosen from across Yu-Gi-Oh's history to show the most unique and fun plays this game has to offer. Each episode, a special guest and I will draft 80 random cards from one of these custom cube formats before building decks with them and facing off at a best of three on Master Duel. What secrets will the Cube of Cubes hold for us today? Only time will tell. And welcome back to Master Cube, Yugi Tube's most nostalgic drafting show. I'm Hard Leg Joe, if in ya didn't know. Joined today by the Right Honorable, the Lord Mayor of Legos, Bard Breaker. I've been known to put a few bricks together in my time, yes. And those who have been on the channel for a long time already know who this gentleman is. Do you want to introduce the, yourself to the new people? Tell them who you are if they don't know. Uh, Bard Breaker, the right honorable <laughs> Lord Mayor of Legos. <laughs> Just in case you missed that part. No, Bard, Bard's been a, a good friend of mine. He was on the channel earlier when we used to be a Let's Play channel. Which, fun trivia, this used to not just be Yu-Gi-Oh, it used to be other stuff. Although you were on the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, even when that I, first started. I was on the first Yu-Gi-Oh video ever, before it was mainstream and meta. And I was yeah. there for when Hardleg and his friends played a lot of games. It was Let's Play. <laughs> it was good, fun times. And while I was having this, this show where I just invited people on for fun and profit, I was like, you know what? Let's bring back Bard Breaker. Let's have a good old nostalgic time. And I guess it is also worth mentioning you do have a YouTube channel of your own these days. I do. Just, whether there's any content on it with any regularity is another story, but yes. Yeah, if you like Pokemon challenge videos, consider checking out Bard Breaker. I'm pretty sure if they search that, they can find it. Or is there another more popular I, Bard Breaker? No, that should be the only one. That was half the reason I kept scrolling through the name generators till I found one that wasn't taken <laughs> on Twitch or YouTube. Yeah, you'll have to comment in the comments if you remember his old name. He used to have another one. But either way, enough nostalgia for now. We're here to play cubes. And we've decided this time that we're going to do the Rank 4 Paradise. We haven't done that in a while. It's a pretty good beginner-friendly cube. And even though you do play Yu-Gi-Oh, you've been on Master Duel, obviously, and stuff, uh, you, you don't really keep up with the meta or anything. I, I am familiar with your posts on Twitter now and again. <laughs> Is about my extent of keeping up with current cards. Yeah, so we'll see. I may actually have a chance to win this time. Against have you not won any of these yet? Uh, I've, I've won a couple. Uh, not very many. I'll, I get a lot of crap in the comments from people who are like, Joe, you made this show and you're awful at it. Well, they just don't experience how you always win at the Patreon hangouts. Like, broken yes. picture phone. Well, not that. There's no score in that, but in your yeah. Jackbox and stuff. Jackboxes and everything. Which, by the way, if you want to join the Patreon Hangouts, consider joining the Patreon. Just one dollar gets you on the thing. Link below. But yeah, let's go ahead, open up Rank 4 Paradise, and we'll jump into the draft. And so it begins, the Ding of Eternity. Who amongst you has what it takes to do the thing? I gotta make these a little bigger. There we go. That should, that should be fun. Don't take that out of context. You seen a bunch of cards that you know and recognize? I do see some that I know and recognize, yes. Ah, good. Excellent. I will take this one. Starting off with a strong boss one. monster. Alright, alright, alright. It's been a while since I've done this one. I wasn't sure if you had done, like, uh, an actual cube before. I have not done a constructed format or a draft format. Okay. Before. Definitely gonna take that one. We're drafting 70 cards? 75. 70 cards. 75 cards. But a deck is only 60. Yeah, so you'll have some extra. You'll have some leeway to choose some stuff. Hmm. I see. This was mean the last time I do it. Do you want me to be mean? Go Can ahead. You handle Let's... me being mean? I, I can. <laughs> okay. Well, I will be mean then. I appreciate it. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot this. This is cool. Hmm, well, gee, my choices are so expansive here. Yeah, I, I guess, guess I'll take, take that one. Surprise it's stuck Woo! around. Alright, a new set has dropped. What secrets will it hold? I want to try... Sure, I guess I'll try this. You're clearly not doing it. Ethan's over here 
<laughs> silently judging, not so silently judging the choices I'm making, apparently. <laughs> Can they see Ethan on the camera? No, they can't. He's over okay. here reading a book. But I guess I picked something. I must have ignored a card that I should have picked. I just wasn't sure if, uh... <laughs> You know, do we keep this footage in? Do we not mention Ethan? Does Ethan want to be on camera? I've mentioned <laughs> Ethan in my videos before. Usually there's one asshole in the comments that Why do you gotta rub it in people's faces that you're gay? And I'm like, why do you gotta make a big deal out of it that you're not, apparently? Like, I'm sorry, I was not aware that a three-second mention of my fiancé in a 20-minute video constituted a big deal. Oops. Oh well. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take that. That seems useful. Easy choice, easy choice. And we're back down to one more. What does this do? Nothing? Okay, just give me the next pack. Let's roll it on down. Ooh, this has some pretty nice stuff in it. I'm gonna start with this one. Ooh, you're picking fast now. Fast and Furious, you Tokyo drifting over here? Bard? I'm here. Okay. I'm I'm neither I fast nor furious. Okay, okay, just making sure. There's always a chance, you know, on the other side of Discord, you know, you have a uh, you have a stroke or something. One I mean, vessel burst. It's, it's, I mean, yes, I guess technically. Sure. Would help to have some spells and traps. I seem to have loaded up on quite a few <laughs> bits of monsters. This I might as well. Another one will come back. I'll have a chance to get it. There's a reason I ignored you this whole time, <laughs> and you've come back to me nonetheless. Fine. I'm back to haunt you regardless. Alright, new packs, new possibilities. What do we got? What are we working with? Uh, nothing that fits the theme I'm going for, but this is the annoying card, so I'll take that again. Oh, a third one? I mean, don't mind if I do. I'll take the playset. Um, there's an old card. I remember you from way back in the day. I probably have enough extra monsters. But one more couldn't hurt. <laughs> I can't believe the best Ixie in the pack made it back around to me like three times. Alright, I think this is close to the last pack or getting there. Ooh, I like this one. That, that's, 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 hey, what are you scowling at me for? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm picking cards. I never claimed to be good at deck building. <laughs> that's the reason I reason I found one deck that works and I've stuck with it. What does this do? <laughs> That's very funny. I'm taking it. And the final card of the draft. Drum roll, please. Sure, sure, fine. I'll take it. So we've got a list of cards. How how Indeed. you feeling about how you feeling about all your packs and everything? It's it's certainly a set of cards. <laughs> yes. God. All right, so I guess we're going to pop into Master Duel. We're going to build the best decks we can, and we'll be back with, with something for you. I tell you what. All right, so my key strategy here was to draft cards and then craft them in Master Duel. I have no strategy for how to actually win the duel other than attempting to reduce his life points to zero. It's a very simple concept in Yu-Gi-Oh. I like Diamond Crab King. He's big. He does things, and then he goes back into defense mode. This guy right here, he he's pretty. He does stuff. Um, yeah, I, I made cards. They're not my normal cards that I play with, but I made them. All right, so here's the deck, and it's uh, it's just just a pile of cards and stuff. There's not really a whole lot of theme. I kind of tried to go for the zodiac stuff. I did get three whip tail. But I didn't get enough of anything else, so I didn't have enough of the extra deck monsters, I think, to make it actually work. So I ended up just like, in order to make this work without the Zodiacs, I just had to throw in everything I had. Which is, you know, we got three Kage Tokage, we got uh, three Hat Tricker, got a couple Photon Thrashers, so we got basic, like, enough stuff to make all the rank fours. We've got almost every rank four in here, plus all the good links. And then to troll, we've got Rise Bell the Star Psyker at three, which should be hopefully funny. 
I got a smoke mosquito, which should be funny. I've got this cool Daruma dropper, which is like a neat tech card that I think should be fun, along with like yellow bellied Oni. We're playing one Calibrator, which might be funny. And then we've just got a bunch of spell traps. Not very much of them, but they're like the best ones. We've got the Ledger Book. We've got Ixie Revenge to bring stuff back. Ixie Import. Uh, I can high five the sky, potentially. We'll see. There's, a, there's only one way to find out. Let's jump into this and go uh, kick Bard Breaker's ass. Let our final battle begin. The Duel of Fates. The Star Wars Star Trek crossover that you never knew you wanted. Oh, and you've got the Blue Eyes deck. Or the Blue Eyes mate. I Indeed. Got little, I got a little rock, paper, scissors for I, you I got the hamburger last night, too. <laughs> you finally earned the burger. You're a true American. Ah, I'm going with the water field. I see, I see. I went for the evil one, because I'm going to be evil today. Oh, you're making me go first? Yes, for I believe in drawing cards. My faith okay. is in the heart of the cards. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to normal summon Rise Bell, the Star Psyker. Right. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'll end my turn. Okay. Easy peasy. Ah, Time Thief Winder. All right. And then you get another Time Thief on the field. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right. We'll go with that. And I will activate Star Psyker's effect. I will target your Winder. I'll make it level five. Very well, you can certainly do that. <laughs> I can! I'm going to allow this. <laughs> oh, you're not going to make an Ixie? Um, see, Joe, Ixies generally require <laughs> monsters of the same level. Oh, I see. And I somebody see. just okay. changed gotcha. my level, so... I'm fine. I'm good. You good? You good? I'm set, okay. I'm set like a jet. You know what they say. And there we go. I drew first blood. I therefore declare victory. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And no, we'll see you a, next week. We're not in the time rules yet. Uh, okay. So I'm going to special summon this fucker. It's got 900 attack. It's not uh -huh. very much. And I'll normal summon 10 goldfish. Mm -hmm. There yep. is no applicable card for 10 goldfish, so it just exists. I think it's just time for boats. I think I'm making a boat deck. Yeah, Check black ship out. of corn. Oh, the sushi ship. The sushi ship! And it does a lot of things, you know, some stuff, some things, but most importantly, if it inflicts damage to you, it gets to fire the cannons! Oof. There we go. Cleared the field, unstoppable, 2200 hit points. You can't beat it. Don't pretend you can beat it. You won't. Very well. <laughs> Very well. Fare thee well to the sea of tomorrow. I'm not sure if you could see this on my field over in, like, the, the corner. Mm-hmm. There's, like, He's... some glowing titties. Glowing titties on your field. I don't see that. In the upper corner. Well, maybe you're seeing it from the other end. I'd be I like, Jules, come back to my screen and show this, but maybe she shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Chat will never know. The fuck? Spy plane. Okay, spy I do plane. control a Nixie monster. Oh, okay, so you went for a Time Thief deck. Curious. Very curious indeed. I went for a deck that had the proper amount of cards. I mean, you've got three Time Thieves, so I've got to assume there's some kind of thing going on there. Karen Gorgon, the Anti-Luminescent Knight. When exactly one card is targeted, you can target that to another appropriate card on the field. Alright. I mean, that does have the mm -hmm. bigger number than my number, so... It, it does have a bigger number than your number. Oh, and it's an SR. Did you have to craft this, or did you already I have I did a have copy? to craft that one. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought this one was, like, very decent, but there's actually not a whole lot of, like, de No! You got Ixie import?! I did. Well, fuck. And I think I will just import your boat into mine. Rude. I needed that boat. Well. Oh, that's fine. I'll take the damage. 
I could not take as much damage, but I chose to take the damage because I am a prudent businessman. Oh, is that is that how it goes? Yes. Uh, okay, okay. I still don't see the glowing titties. Is this is this purple thing? That's just one. Let's do it. Does he have two? Behold, photon, photon pressure. Mm -hmm. And then I'm dropping. The Daruma dropper is here. The question is, what do I actually build? Um. Oh, let's go for this one. This is like the best one in the deck. Behold, Exo Sister Astophiel. The power of nuns compels you. So I'll activate this effect. I will detach a monster to target a monster and return it to the hand. That's very mean, Joe. <laughs> Compulsory evacuation nun. Very strong. And that's about it. I mean, I got rid of it. You did. You did get rid of it. I had an effect that only targeted monsters, so you couldn't redirect the effect. Ah, another back row, I see. And a set card. And a afraid? set card. You afraid of taking a little bit of damage? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Just possibly. So, I can activate this. I can banish the dropper from my graveyard, and that counts as detaching. It does. There we go. That's unfortunate. Bada bingo, bada bingo. And I can do it again! Now I have another material I can do next turn! See, these are the kind of five-dimensional chess plays you get from Rank 4 Paradise. Five-dimensional chess. In a four-dimensional cube, yes. Well, we can't have that, can we? Uh, I mean, you can if you're creative enough. Ah! Playing the Tengis, alright. Special summon. No... <laughs> Ah, it was a big shield card! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's this effect? When a spell is activated- oh. I guess it's a good thing I didn't do the other thing. That would have been bad. Alright, Anixie Summon. Very rare. Diamond Crab King. Usage rate, 0.3%. All right. I mean, that is bigger than Karen Gorgon. It is bigger than Karen Gorgon. Uh, I'll allow it. Yeah, that's fine. And then... My crash. Okay, you remembered to use its effect. <laughs> I do. Mm-hmm. This is a card from when you played. I believe you had this in your I, uh, Machina deck. I still do. Or your Machina. Okay, check this out. No. It's time for Ixie Revenge! I will target an Ixie in the graveyard. I will summon it. And then I will take one of your materials and give it to me! I object to that play. Though uh, I have no counter for it. And then I will go ahead and put this back into the graveyard. And, you know, I mean, the good thing is that I'm not destroying any of your monsters. You get to maintain the Crab King for as long as you want. And then, wait, what? What are you doing? If an Ixie leaves the field while this is the graveyard, you could suck. I mean, I guess that block's fine, yeah, whatever. It does. Unless what, you got a trap to defend it? Just in case you draw that other level 4, then you can make another Ixie. Or just make Diamond Crab King again. <laughs> just keep alternating. Yep, just keep bouncing it back, just keep summoning it forth again. This card has the best removal in the uh, the queue, but not very high attack. It also has other effects. I don't think they're really important, though. Um, can't be destroyed by cards. Can't be destroyed by the effects of monsters special summoned from the graveyard. So, you know, if you were thinking about doing that, don't. I, I wasn't thinking at all. Have no have no fears, Joe. Okay. Take that.
and just hope that I don't have a way to put another, uh, what would it be, 1500 on the field? And I don't. I have no way to put 1300, but that's not enough. That's 100 off, so... Draw your last pathetic card, Kaiba. Wait, no, that would have been enough! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I was... I was wondering what kind of kooky Matthew was doing there. Yeah, I was like, 11 plus 12 is 13 plus 12. Wait, 11 plus 12 is not 13. One plus, god damn it, I had way more than game. I don't, <laughs> all right, I guess I can't, I can't criticize your thought process anymore. I apparently can't tell one number from the other number. You indubitably can't. That's fine, you can't recover this. You've got all that back row that apparently does nothing. It, <laughs> it does nothing. You are you are absolutely correct. Unfortunate. You could crash. I could. And you will. And I will. Just to oh, okay. feel the sweet vengeance against the evil nun. Okay. Understandable. Well, in that case, I will end this the way I lived. By doing incorrect math? Uh, yes. So let's go Dolphin. No, go ahead. Right into Battle Face. Nope, you don't want to do that. And then Dolphin. So, yeah, the, I had these two. And I was like, yeah, 12 plus 100, that's not enough. And somehow I missed the other 1,000. And, you know, I could go in here, but it wouldn't be Rank 4 mm -hmm. Paradise if I didn't make an Ixie, so yeah, might go. as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead in with Pearl. Just give mm -hmm. me the old mm -hmm. punch. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I thought for sure maybe one of those back row did something. No, because you kept bouncing all my shit. <laughs> Inst oh, instead of I destroying see. it. I see, I see. Well, it's best two out of three, so you get another chance, you know? It's best eight out of twelve, right? <laughs> How long do you have today? I got all day. How long that? do you want this video to be? <laughs> uh, do you want to go first or second? I don't care. Uh, I'll go first. You you paying jewels by the hour or by the project? It's by the project, but most of the projects only go to be like an hour. <laughs> if they go longer than that, I have to pay her more. All right, an excellent go first hand. Your move. <laughs> <laughs> I am set up and prepared for everything. Is that a fact? Yes. I stand by that statement. Okay. Got a, uh, a tin goldfish. Got a raid raptor. Mm hmm. It's always treated as a phantom knight and a raid raptor card. There is no, like, this is a worm and also a dark scorpion card. Is there a mysterious voice just coming in in the middle of the recording? Nope. Nope. Nothing at all. That's... That's... that's nothing at all, Joe. Nothing at all. It's Bardbreaker's conscious speaking to it. <laughs> it's very loud. It wants to be heard from inside of his skull. Just let your conscience be your guide. I'm glad you agree. Okay. Oni Gammy combo. It can attack twice this turn. That's a lot of damage, Bard. It is. I don't want to take all that damage. Go Tragodia. I object. No. I mean, it would have been nice if I could summon this and actually use the effect, but I can't. I don't think I could take 6,000. That puts me very close to being dead in a format where this stuff goes back and forth a lot. That was the idea. Alright, so the unfortunate part is that I took a lot of damage. The fortunate thing is that now that that has no material, you can't attack with it anymore. True. That is true. Yeah, let's do this. Go you. Go me. I, I like that thinking. Go me. One will summon this. No, don't do that. And then we'll set two. Your move. No congratulations, Joe, on your amazing play. Nothing. Yes, Joe, very much, very much congratulations. 
I'll tell I expect a reward in the mail. I'll send it to the P.O. box. What's the award called for the uh, the best play in Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, the, you know, we got the, Tonys, the, we got Emmys. The Kaiba. The Kaiba. <laughs> I'm glad to accept this Kaiba. I feel like Kaiba has to be for like the most expensive card or something, right? That or good most, point. Like ruthless move. What is this? Target a monster. Attach this card as material. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it can't attack again. It Excuse can, me, and princess. It shall. Okay, attach the spell. That's fine. 3,000. Goes to attack. Why can't I activate this? I would like to activate this. Okay. There no we go. activating of things. Ichiro's Ledger Book. We will target a monster and banish it for this turn. You'll get a thousand life points for that. Mm, thank you. You're you're so kind. You're welcome. I'm very generous. I'm known for my philanthropy. Is is that what you call it? Usually. Uh, look, it came back. We'll get that monster back. It attacked both. <laughs> I'm a master tactician. You are always eight steps ahead, Joe. It is truly awesome to behold. Okay, well, I was going to do something even more powerful, but now I don't need to. Okay, let's just make this thing. Behold, my giant enemy spider. Aha! 2400 and then if I attack I gain 300 attack now it's indeed. unstoppable nothing has more than 2700 attack even gem knight pearl would struggle to get over this well not an agreement I am not in an agreement I think we should do one of these. Like Gekki. If that was in here, that would be nice. It's... Joe, I cheated. I put it in right Gekki. You understand. Yeah, okay. That's okay, fair. I think we'll do that. Overlay, Al. Are you going to pay 600 to detach one of my materials? <laughs> then, let's do another one of these, and another one of these, and how about oh, one of these? You got two crab kinks! We do, and I also have this. You can target one card on the field and destroy it. Um Well I have Ixy Reversal! If each player controls an Ixy, we'll just switch control of them. Oh, uh, there you go. And then <laughs> you already targeted it. There's no takesies backsies now. Aha! Always wanted a diamond crab king. And now I got one. Oh lord. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. No, let's not. Let's don't. There you go. You can have your owl back. Let's don't and say we did. How about uh, that? Can I kill you? No. I didn't think he would have anything so useful in his back row. I didn't think he had anything useful! He said it for a reason. I had traps <laughs> that I set for reasons too! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Gaga -ga -ga Gardener! <laughs> Fine. I'm still poking it. Eh. All right, I all was right. going for maximum penetration. I, I thought we were hunting graboids. I went for maximum penetration. What do I do? I don't need to do anything. We're fine. What are you gonna do? Nothing. That's right.
Sorry, Bard Breaker. I had to do it to him. Let's go ahead and Diamond Crab King. And I'm gonna normal summon my dropper. I'm dropping the beat once up. I got ten goldfish mixed up with Kage to Kage. I thought if I <laughs> normal summoned, this would come out. Uh, that's fine. You know, I don't. I don't. Wait, what can I summon here? Oh, yeah, that don't. Okay, that's fine. We're good. We're fine. Three thousand seven hundred. Draw your last pathetic cards. Go to defense. Set a card. You are moved. It's a train. <laughs> I mean, I guess your number is bigger than my number, so that makes sense. Druma Man is dead. Come, Mr. Druma Man, Druma me your dropper. Okay. This time I won't mess this up. I, I still think you should. Normal summon. And go right to battle phase. No. It's a you can. You don't have to. It's an optional effect, Joe. I'm quite aware. But I'm fine. I want to do... Main phase two. Ah, check this out. I'm going to go... Dugaris the Timeless. Then, I'm going to shift Crab King to attack mode. Okay. And I'll activate its effect. Okay. Because I don't need material where I'm going. <laughs> and then Dugaris will detach two to target a monster and double its attack. You wanted to hit me for 6,000. <laughs> now it is you who will be hit for 6,000. The biggest diamond crab king. That is, of course, the natural order of the food chain. Crabs eat trains all the time. Everyone knows this. Read a history book. It's in the Missouri history books. Granted, those have been defunded quite a bit. But that's fine. That's fine. So normally, uh, when we do something like this, and, and I win rather handedly, I'm like, <laughs> I'll remove some of my best cards, but I don't know what to remove. Is there a particular thing that pisses you off? <laughs> uh, no, that, that that's fine. Okay, we'll just try that salty run back. We gotta get at least a third duel there. There's a chance. I believe in you. You have what it takes to win. Stranger Things have happened. Yeah. That one girl from Stranger Things shaved her head. So she did. In real life or in the show? Uh, I think she had to do one before she could do the other. <laughs> well, they've got bald caps and... I suppose... Makeup. It digitally removed her hair. It was like Superman's mustache. Alright, we're gonna try this again. This time I will make an Ixie going first. Summon. 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 I'm going all three, baby. You can't stop me. You think you can stop me? Doing the Neutron Dance? I don't think so. I'm reading that there's a monster. I'm not going to summon it because I could. It's three level fours. Right. But it's like during your opponent's main phase, you could detach one material and this gains attack and defense equal to the total attack of all Ixie monsters your opponent controls. Please do. And I, I thought it was all monsters your opponent controls. So I'm like, yeah, if you summon more than one thing, I just get a bunch. But I realize if I made that now, you could literally poke it with anything and kill it. <laughs> It, you won't, you, unless you just made an Ixie for no reason. But instead, I will combine these three into another card that hasn't been summoned before. Thunder Spark Dragon. Beware its power, Green Lantern's Light. And you're a move. Show me what you got. Can you beat... The Thunder Spark Dragon. And I will summon that. And you can put that back in your hand. I kind of wanted that. Not, in, not like in my hand. That would have been good to have on the field. 
Um, let's do this. Speaking of Skibbity, you watched much of the Skibbity I'll Toilet? Summon that. You hip with the kids? I am not hip with the kids, no. Oh. You should consider checking it out. It's pretty, pretty decent. It's peak. Comment in the comments. Who do you comment think is in stronger? the comments. Are we doing Type. that again? Comment in the comments. We already commented in the comments. It was like the first thing multiple. we did. People can make more comments. Yeah, comment with which do you think is stronger, the, uh, the the Titan cameraman or the Titan speaker man? We'll do this and summon another monster not yet seen today. Oh, Utopia, the original rank four. Yes, is very strong, and it has a hundred more attack than me. And if you didn't bounce back this back row, I would be able to do something about that, <laughs> but now I can't. Let's see, I bet I put one of those there, uh, and one of these there, and we'll end that turn there. <laughs> okay. I don't think this works the way I am. So, I'm just gonna set this. That's fine, it's 2500, I could take 2500, no big deal! We're good! You know. We're, we're glizzy. I think I should just do this. Oh? Swarm. Oh, speaking of keto, and get rid of that. Oh, come on! <laughs> My counter trap! <laughs> I liked that! And then I shall poke you again. Uh, Alright. At least you didn't attack first. That would have been a lot more damage. What's this? No, that doesn't count. Alright, that's fine. I can survive another turn. I believe. You believe. I do. I shouldn't have put all my monsters into it. I wanted to make, like, the three material one, and I didn't think you'd be able to do anything about it. <laughs> I underestimated your power. Well, that's what you get, Anakin. It's fine. I have the high ground. Put one of these over here. Wow, you're playing a lot of back rub. Son of a monster, you coward! Okay, that's fine. Uh, I am playing rock, paper, scissors with the Girgiano. <laughs> He's neat. Oh, we tied. We could just put a little bit more damage on. <laughs> I it's could. Not a bait. All I gotta do is summon one more monster. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> the problem with that is yeah. Joe is the master of making you overthink. <laughs> Look at that classic thing is like, you could have called me the master of baiting. I am, I am that. Because he'll make you think that he's bluffing and that you shouldn't attack because he's got something, but then in reality he's telling you the truth. But then he would know that I would know that. <laughs> You're overthinking. Have you ever seen The Princess Bride? It's like that. <laughs> no, it's really quite simple. You poisoned both goblets. Uh, yeah. Well. But over the years I've developed a natural immunity to Iokine powder. It's... The trick is, whether you attack or don't attack, I still win. I just like making you think. Okay. I do not want to take this damage, so we're, we're going to pop this again. Eh. No, you have one! <laughs> Fuck! Alright, well I guess it's a good thing you didn't summon anything then. Oh wait, it inflicts damage! 
Well, fuck. <laughs> I was sitting there, I had the Ixy Revenge so I could summon the thing back out, but it doesn't have enough attack and it needs to detach three. And I'd only have one. I had Super Heavy Samurai Scales, which requires you to control two monsters, but you wouldn't summon anything. And I had a level four. And yeah, I should I should have just made like a Jebdite Pearl or just passed and forced you to go, okay, well, you got at least one. Are you happy you did a thing? I you did removed a thing. my back row. See, that's 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 the uh, the that's... bard breaker way is to lose on purpose <laughs> again the actual match to let your guard down for the. Um, <laughs> yes, that that's yes, that's what we'll call it. I lost on purpose, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully you all enjoyed. We had this fun little time, nostalgic little friends. I got to hang out with bard breaker. That's the important part. Indeed, indeed, it is always fun. I should. Crash your pad more often. Yeah. But yeah, thank you all for coming. Thank you for coming. Go check out Bardbreaker's channel if you got some time. I'm sure he, he doesn't mind other people watching his uh, Pokemon videos and everything. I like when people watch my videos. That's the whole point, Joe! Yeah. It's a good time. It's a fun time all around. Good background noise. So go do that. And until next time, good luck. And have fun. Oh, you got it.